was a night before Christmas, and out in the yard, there was a chicken, a pecking on the ground pretty hard. Our stockings was hung at the long branch up high, and hopes that old Sandy Claus just might drop by. The young'uns was snuggled all tight in their beds, cause they knew if they got out, they was a whoop in the head. I in my long johns and my mule in her jacket, we was jolted to wake by a terrible racket. I ran out the door and into the night with gun in my hand, I was ready for a fight. But I tripped on a duck and she screamed out a quack and right over yonder, fly down his bike, lay old Doc Adams out like a light. I ran up to him, I said, Doc, you all right? Not a peep, bitty other. That fidgety old scooter. Well, I leaned over close to see if his heart was still a ticking. But I, I couldn't hear nothing on account of that diet blame ground picking chicken. He popped open his eyeballs and jumped to his feet, said, Get out of my way. And then he let out a a bleat like a sheep. I asked him what for. He said it doesn't matter. Then, then I, I had to run back inside because I got a weak bladder. When I came back out, I couldn't believe my eyeballs. I said, what in the tarnation is that? Because I couldn't think of a rhyme for eyeballs. No Old Doc hopped up, up on his sleigh, overloaded with toys, pulled by eight puny sheep, making all kind of noise. I, I stuck my head in the water trough, way down deep, because I thought I might just still be asleep. Well, that old sawbones, he spit, whistled, and hollered, and he yelled out the names that was writ on they collars. He said, now Skeeter, now Elmer, now Jasper and Roscoe, on Cletus, on Wilbur, on Moses and Jethro. They took to pulling that sleigh hard up the hill. When they reached the top, they ran over Granny's still. And she started to cussing and shooting at old Doc and his team and and I think she winged him, because he let out this girly scream. He yelled at those sheep something fierce, I do declare. And, and all of a sudden, they was flying in the air. They landed on the house a fur piece up the road, so I jumped on my mule and up the road I go. We got to the house in about half a minute. I, I grabbed the front door, I pulled, and went in it. Now, inside, old Doc was working fast like a bee, putting toys in stockings and up under those trees. From his head to his toes, he was all dressed in red. Doc Adams is Sandy calls, I thought in my head. Well, he was a smiling and laughing, and he was all full of good cheer. He ain't usually like that, and this he had a whole lot of beer. And all of a sudden, when his work was all done, he was up through that chimney like being shot from a gun. He jumped in his sleigh and took off again in flight. Hollering, Merry Christmas to all, and to Festus, in the head, you ain't right. <laughs> he just, he just couldn't help himself and, and started that fight, but, but I just let it go. I let it go, I let it go, and said, well, it's all right. I walked my mule back to my 
one room shack and, and my heart was so full of joy and, and goodwill towards my fellow man I, I stopped on the road and I, and I just stood still thinking that the reason for Christmas ain't just toys and fun the real reason is because God sent us his son born to die on a cross for our sin born in the stable cause there weren't no room at the end believe in him and ask him into your heart and he'll make you brand spanking new and give you a fresh start Christmas happened because God loves everyone and you can show your love for him by telling others about his son, Jesus.